Hello everyone, you are watching Peace TV's weekly update for the first week in March 2015. That's the third week of the first month of the third year of Chonil Guk. This week, the second anniversary celebration of Chonil Guk Foundation Day was held in grand style. I can say from observing firsthand that a lot of members, many young members, devoted themselves to the preparations and that the various ceremonies and events drew a lot of public interest as well. Our coverage this week includes the main ceremonies, of course, and also a look at the International Leaders Conference that is just concluding, and the World Media Conference that also took place in Seoul. The presentations may give us some deeper insight into the meaning of Foundation Day and help us look forward to the weeks ahead. Let's watch together. Foundation Day is the most important anniversary in human history. And this year, the second anniversary of Foundation Day and the cosmic blessing of true parents of heaven, earth and humankind was held under the guidance of true parents. On March 3rd, last Tuesday, at the Chongqing Peace World Center, more than 30,000 blessed families and leaders from around the world participated in the event, which was also webcast live throughout the world. This commemoration was special because the Champu Mo Gyeong was being dedicated that day to complete the Chonilguk Holy Scriptures. In her address, True Mother proclaimed that true parents have come and asked all of us to practice true love. Today, here in the world, not in the world, but in the world, 이 자리에 함께 동참하고 있는 전 세계 축복 가정들은 사방에서 참 부모님의 현연을 선포하고 참 부모님의 가르침으로 참 사랑을 실천하는 종적 메시아의 책임을 다하여 세계적으로 비참하게 종교를 통해서 인종을 통해서 국경을 통해서 모든 파괴력 속에서 힘들어 죽어가고 있는 인류들을 바라만 보고 있어야 되겠습니까? 우리가 그들을 교육하여 참 부모의 자녀로 세워주는 길밖에는 우리가 바라고 하늘이 바라고 인류가 고대하는 하나의 세계는 올수 없다는 것을 명심하시고 최선을 다하는 여러분들이 되기를 간절히 부탁합니다. After the main celebration, the cosmic blessing ceremony was held. 3,800 couples from 80 nations took part in the blessing. Adding the thousands of couples also taking part simultaneously in blessing ceremonies around the world, it is calculated that more than 24,000 couples participated. Brides and bridegrooms took part in the holy water ceremony, affirmed their wedding vows and exchanged rings. Through this ceremony, they promised to become families that uphold the eternal tradition of true love, true life and true lineage. True Mother then blessed these couples to become ideal families and proclaimed their holy wedding sanctified. After the blessing, a special musical was performed to commemorate the second anniversary of Chonil Guk. It was entitled A New Heaven and a New Earth. More than 50 performers from our second and third generations reenacted True Parents Life Course for the salvation of humankind and the realization of world peace giving those in attendance time to reflect deeply on the course true parents have gone to open the way to the completion of Chonil Guk. We hope that these performers will continue to elevate the culture of the heavenly nation that we call Chonil Guk. Immediately after the celebration, a special luncheon was held with true parents at the banquet hall of Chonjonggung, with more than 500 guests, including participants from the media conference and other world leaders. At this luncheon, 
True Mother presented a special award to those world leaders who had given distinguished service and asked them and the journalists present to join the efforts to spread the truth and lead the world in the proper direction. A variety of events and celebrations were held with true parents in the days leading up to the second anniversary of the Chonilguk Foundation Day. One was a ceremony held on February 28th at the Chongshim Youth Training Center, at which the Wonmo Pyonghe Foundation conferred scholarship certificates on more than 2,000 recipients from 68 nations. The value of the scholarships totaled more than $10 million. In her address, True Mother asked these scholarship recipients to become victors who spread True Parents' will to the world. On behalf of the other recipients, the Global Scholarship students sang and presented a letter of appreciation while expressing their sincere resolve to contribute meaningfully to bringing peace in the world. The Hanamdong International Training Center was recently renovated into a guest house to allow members to experience True Parents' love and feel their presence. On February 27th, True Mother offered a prayer to dedicate the guest house, blessing it to become a place where God's children can learn about True Parents' life course and experience true love. The Hanamdong International Training Center was used as True Parents' official residence in Korea from August 29, 1983 until June 13, 2006, when they entered Chonjonggung. True Parents' room and their study on the first floor have been preserved while the rest of the building has been remodeled to be used as a guest house for members. During this period of commemoration, providential organizations have held events and conferences to commemorate True Parents' vision for peace and true love. The Universal Peace Federation organized an international leadership conference from February 28th to March 4th at the Lotte Hotel in Seoul. More than 400 experts and leaders in diverse fields gathered to explore ways to promote prosperity, reconciliation and partnership for peace among nations. Concurrently with the International Leadership Conference, the 21st World Media Conference was held under the joint sponsorship of the Sege Times and the Washington Times. From March 1st for five days, more than 100 participants consisting of journalists and experts from all circles of life gathered to discuss the reunification of the Korean Peninsula and how to secure peace in Northeast Asia. Former Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Christopher R. Hill, Seoul Mayor Park Won Soon, Seiluri Party Congressman Na Gyeong Won and other prominent figures took part in the conference. An international symposium was held on March 2nd at the National Assembly Building in Seoul. CARP Korea held a bridge ceremony and peace symposium for youth and college students to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between Korea and Japan. The Citizens Federation for the Reunification of North and South Korea also held an international symposium on the reunification of the Korean Peninsula. The Women's Federation, UPF Korea and the Professors World Peace Academy jointly held an international symposium on the creation of a world peace park and the installment of the fifth office of the United Nations in the demilitarized zone. Presentations and discussions were held on reunification issues and on how to transform Northeast Asia into a central region for world peace. On March 1st, the Chonilguk Citizens Festival was held at the Chongpyong Heaven and Earth Training Center. Sunjanim and Insupnim, co-chairs of the organizing committee, took part in the commemorative event where there was a ceremony to confer holy candles and ring the gong of peace to confirm our pledge to complete our missions as heavenly tribal messiahs. Other events held that day included the Chonilguk Citizens One Heart Festival, National Hundok Reading Tournament, and the Divine Principle Lecture Contest. The 
Tarbok Festival was also held for multicultural families. After the end of the commemorations for the second anniversary of Chonilguk Foundation Day, the Chonilguk Leaders' Assembly 2015 was held for two days from March 5th. During the opening ceremony, Sunjanim presented the vision for the third year of Chonilguk on behalf of True Mother. This was followed by presentations from the international headquarters, various regions and nations, and best practices were shared. Other sessions were held to explore strategies for bringing victory in the third year of Chonil Guk. On the second day, True Mother presented plaques to missionaries and others who had served in the mission field for a long time and with distinction. She also announced a number of personnel changes and officially assigned the members of the first graduating class of the Universal Peace Academy for a one-year mission in different countries of the world. True Mother appointed Sanjanim, who for the past two years assisted True Mother as Director General of the Family Federation International Headquarters, as the Family Federation's International President. She appointed Insupnim, her husband, as Vice President. All Chonilguk leaders offered their pledge to work in unison with true parents to bring victory in the third year of Chonilguk. Through the Chonilguk Foundation Day celebrations, True Mother was looking to see the settlement of the heavenly Chonilguk culture in our midst. In order for the culture of heaven to pervade the world with our heavenly parents' true love at the center, we will of course need to always try our best to live according to the teachings of love, to help our family become a happy one that conveys heaven's blessings to others. So I hope this past week has been a meaningful one for you as the time to find the direction to go and to inspire all of us to bring some comfort and hope to our heavenly parent for the sake of the heavenly kingdom to come. May God bless you. See you here next week.